Today is August 8, 2016. This Chow Chow early on did not have any, uh, uh, was not able to open the eyes, eyes at all. That was about three weeks ago. And uh, we had eye ulcers. Then uh, the first vet gave some prednisolone. And uh, I think the owner went to a few vets for surgery, but uh, the vets didn't want to do it. Now, you can see that, that I had the blood test taken about 10 days ago to check whether the dog is healthy and it shows that there was an increase in white cell count and also neutrophils suggesting this dog had bacterial infection of the bloodstream which is probably due to this uh, eye infection and uh, after that the dog was put on antibiotics and eye drops and now it's so about 14 days, uh, about 10 to 14 days, you can see the dog is actually more active. As you can see, uh, you can see, although his eyes cannot be open 100%. Now, Judy, come uh, unroll the eye, eyelid. Let's see how, let's do, do one eye first, the left eye. Uh. Okay, you see the eye, eyelid up and down. Uh. Is, is, is the left eye, is, is the really roll inwards. Roll inwards quite, quite a lot. The down one. Uh, okay, so the top one is definitely upper eyelid is definitely you can see the the the, the dampness, uh, is it the whole whole area? Then the lower one, eh? lower one you don't see so much dampness, but it's, it's also roll in about uh, how many degrees? Ninety degrees. The upper one is probably hundred eighty degrees. Then, then the other eye, the upper eyelid. Let's see. You unroll it first. Unroll it. So. The upper one definitely, okay, let go of the upper one first. You can see it rolls in quite deep in. Uh, the, uh, wait, hold, hold properly first. It's about the, let me see. Uh, okay, the lower one. Okay, you just don't, don't, uh, just let go of the lower one and see upper one. Just let go of the lower one. Uh, so is it normal, the lower one? Or oh, this slightly roll in? Okay, that's like okay, upper one roll in more, right? Upper one? Upper eyelid how, how much it roll in? Quite a lot. Okay, quite a lot. So So we can see is the lateral canters of the upper eyelid and the, the lower eyelid. Well, let's sit down first. Okay, let's see. Yeah? Let me see. Before surgery, we have to see which one is row in. Uh. You, you can hold, hold this. Uh, let me check from there. You hold this to video. Uh. You come, come, come. Just let go. Okay, come. I will check. Come. Ready? Let me check. Okay, come. Check. 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 Sit down first. It's important that you check which part is row in. Okay. We start with this eye first. Now, you just have a look like this, you can see that there's an ulcer. Do you see the ulcer? There's a big white, white color one. Do you see the ulcer? Do you manage to zoom in? Yes. There's an ulcer now. Now, let's see the lower eyelid first. Whether there's entropion or not. Entropion means in ruin. Now, the lower eyelid yeah. is swollen. But there is an entropion through the whole lip margin. Uh. This part where you can see the dampness. Okay, now we look at the upper eyelid. Come, not the upper eyelid. Uh. Just focus on the upper eyelid. The whole, whole length above. This whole part is also rolled in. I will call it about 360 degrees. 183 and this severe one upper. The lower one also, also bad. So, to cut, you have to cut the whole thing. Well, now let's see the other eye. Now the other eye is the lateral. You can see the ulcer also. See two and a half years old. Now 
this one same thing is this upper at margin is ruined but the lower eyelid is only the more to the lateral side lateral side oh, okay finish